Good morning, welcome back to my channel. This is Gorgeous Reaction Videos TCR. I am Cindy B. Thank you very much for joining me here for this ride. And you may hear a lot of fans in the background. <coughs> I need them on. So bear with me. They cleared Breezeway Charlie out of the unit. But uh, Breezeway Charlie moved himself back here. And so I'm dealing with the fumes this morning. Had a pretty good night, but uh, somewhere early in the morning, <coughs> he resurfaced and he didn't care who heard him. And uh, now the fumes are rising again. So I had almost a 24 hour break. If they would simply use the police to get him out, <clears throat> then he would do his jail time and perhaps learn his lesson and not continue to come back because if they get the police involved and they take him to jail for what he is doing down there, if they have to come back and make a second arrest, then he's gonna have to stay there longer. And these property management people obviously do not know what they're doing. I view them all as idiots because it's been going on for months. How long does it take a whole team of people to get it right? I have told them, the police have told me, the police have told them the same thing and they just refuse to handle it properly and they just send people on the payroll who are not security officers <coughs> who are not private investigators, who are just not qualified to do what it is they're doing. And he views, Breezeway Charlie views the whole operation as a joke, which is why he is not going anywhere. So I'm back here from my ride, and this whole corner, even though the windows are open, it's just filled with <coughs> the fragrances of Breezeway Charlie. And it seems like, feels like to me, I still have miles to go. Many miles to go. <clears throat> Till October and my move out date. He, his drug use has been so intense. Recently, and all day yesterday, I felt nothing but sharp pains all in my head. I could not shake them. Even after they got him out, even after he was gone for hours, I still had sharp pains. And the strongest thing I had in here to take was aspirin, so I took it. And uh, about an hour ago, I started to feel um, shaky and, you know, jittery and <clears throat> all that stuff that I usually feel based on the drug fumes coming up. So another day of that, and I still haven't even recovered from the intensity of <clears throat> feeling the hits that he's taken. So this is what I'm dealing with. I just don't have time to sit in a room and watch somebody's video in order to bring you a reaction video. I just don't. <clears throat> I got time to do the stuff that I really need to do for me, but I just don't have the time to sit down and watch these reaction videos. Watch these videos. That requires time, people. It requires time. And with everything that he is putting me through with the fumes, I just can't focus on what you guys are doing in your videos. The situation got so bad, I see the title of your video. <clears throat> and by the time your video is over, I can't remember the title. I can't remember the things I wanted to point on. To, uh, to talk out, to talk about. It's 
So anyway, let me focus on this pedaling because my words ain't making any, aren't making any sense to me right now. Just the smell of stench. So it's 8.30 in the morning. I haven't changed the tension, it's still at 8. I'm giving it everything I got. <clears throat> 6 minutes and 12 seconds into this ride. I was supposed to be on this bike at 8 o'clock, and then I started doing things. Repositioning fans, opening windows, tidying this up. <sighs> Took my inhaler. <sighs> Made sure to take both doses. Both. Yeah, both pups. And, uh, <sighs> if this is the best you can do when you're talking, because all this mess is all up in your head, then how do you do it? We actually, I can't. I, I can't even talk through the ride. Sound like an idiot. I used to be sharp with what, the stuff, with what I had to say in my videos. Now I sound like one of the fools out there on crack. Ain't funny. I'm gonna go back to being the way I was. Where people complimented me from my vocabulary. I can't even remember the word air fryer. It's that thing over there. Here it comes, Jimmy. I'm stuck in that now. Good morning to the people. This is real life, not fake life. I'm not going to sit here and pretend everything is wonderful when it is not. Falling apart, my life is falling apart. I'm sick of this man. I'm sick of this man that I have called Breeze Way Charlie. Just better. I'm giving it everything I got. I gotta get this video out by 9.15. I was supposed to be on this bike at 8 o'clock. So I said I started doing stuff. I just can't get myself, bring myself to do a video unless my stuff is in order. I gotta have my kitchen right. I gotta have my beds made. The only time I feel comfortable with doing a video when everything is a wreck is when I am bringing you along for the day and I show you me doing the laundry, me cleaning up, uh, me organizing, etc. Then I can just turn the camera on. But I knew I had work to do here today, but I can't get it done if I know, I can't do this ride if I know I haven't made the bed. Still haven't opened the windows. You don't have the fans on. You haven't sorted through the laundry. Put the pile in the washer. The other pile on the floor. You haven't put the washer in place, which is just pushing it and turning it. Um, and so I did all that stuff. 
So now I'm on the bike, I don't have to worry about doing it. And uh, I like my stations to be set up. So the bike is sitting here. I pick up this lamp. And I set it on this little table, which is under the window. Because nothing in here makes any sense. But because I'm, in a, I'm preparing to move, so I got a bed sitting in the living room next to a desk. Because once they did that room back there, painted it and redid the ceiling, I wasn't going to take that bed back in there. They got to move this bed out in uh, less, than, less than a month or a solid month anyway. So none of it makes any sense. It's all wrong. But I need it to be in order. I need it to be neat. Even though you got pieces of furniture in here that should not be. But you know, it's my apartment. If I want a bed in my living room, I can have one. <laughs> So, I like to be able to just walk to the station with my device and set up the video, turn on the video, and uh, start recording. And, you know, me and the ring lights have not been getting along. So now I'm just using a lamp. It seems to give me the better light, better light than all the ring lights I have used. I have asked people what kind of ring lights they use, but you know, you ask people questions, they don't tell you a damn thing, so that's it. People use some real good equipment to make their stuff, but when you ask them, you know, what you're using, they will not tell you. I had one person answer my questions. Um, I know Tony Hendricks screen, she will let me know what she's using over there. But everybody else, they act like it's a big secret. It's like, oh no, quality. I'm not going to help you improve the quality of your videos. You won't learn how to do no intro based on anything I have to say about it. You can just sit over there and intro less. <laughs> That's the way people are. Yeah. You contact them and you praise them and they can respond to that, but you contact them and you ask them a question, they're like, you don't exist. You can give them a shout out and they're like, they, they know you then. <laughs> but if you need some information, forget about it. <laughs> oh, the way people work. So anyway, smell of the stench. Y'all can't smell it, this ain't smell of vision, but damn. So anyway, what was I saying? I like to be able to just walk to the station, sit down with the plate, walk to the mukbang station, sit down with the plate and the drink in hand, press the button, start talking and eat. I like to keep all my stations set up like that because I don't want to have to spend 20 minutes, 15 minutes, or even five minutes for the setup. Just go to it push the button and start. <laughs> All of this ain't necessary. <laughs> but I did it anyway. And so, when I had the ring lights that clip to your device, that's the way it was. Now I'm walking around the house. Uh, I got two lamps that I have to take to every station every time I get ready to make a video. So, it don't take long. It doesn't take long to do. It doesn't take long to do, but I don't even want to have to do that. Just, you know, ring light should be there, but... I'm like, everybody... I had... The first set of ring lights I got lasted me for a while. I had them for about two years. Never had a problem. Wasn't all that satisfied, but they worked. But I have gone through ring lights. Um... What did I say? So that first two years? I don't know. First year, I guess. But the ring lights that I have gotten since then have been falling apart in less than six months. And no, I don't spend a lot of money on ring lights. I think the most I've ever paid for a ring light was a... Uh, the one that I paid... I bought a ring light that came with the tripod and everything, but I had to send that one back, so that don't count. Yeah, I didn't like anything about that. 
tripod just seemed very cheap and I wasn't at least been satisfied with the ring light but uh, I think the most I've ever paid for a ring light and it was a two pack was like uh, $15 so maybe I was telling people that maybe that's the problem that I'm buying cheap cheap ring lights I don't know but bottom line is this lamp minus the shade has given me the best light that I have had since I started YouTube about two and a half years ago or three, it's probably been three okay so pedal, pedal, and pedal time is 8.41 this might upload a little late um, in order to make that 9.15 deadline I'll probably just publish it instead of um, letting this particular video premiere and the one tonight will premiere so you're seeing this ride the day I'm actually doing it and in case you haven't figured it out Yesterday, I did not ride the bike at all. I did not ride the bike at all yesterday. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I never sat on it at all. But I sure did get some sleep in yesterday. I fell asleep a lot. I fell asleep a lot. And in fact, the last time I fell asleep, I fell asleep here in the living room, sitting in a chair. Is what I, is what I did. And I see the work crew is here. Looks like the same guys that, uh, you know, that's a different guy. I thought it was the same guy that got Breezeway Charlie and all his stuff out yesterday. Yeah, so this is just going to upload and I'm just going to schedule it. I'm not going to schedule it, it's just going to be published. No premiere for this one. So don't send me a whole bunch of comments talking about, I didn't get that notification. You will not get a notification for this video. These 20 minute videos, they upload super quick. Take about 8 minutes or less. And after this ride, I'm going to continue with this workout. Tonight's video, it will premiere. <clears throat> because I have time to actually, you know. I keep missing my mileage when I look at the monitor. This is the best I can do on giving this pedal and everything that I have. I sure hope I win a million dollars or somebody gives me a million dollars. Actually, I would like one million five hundred thousand. Because I can buy my house and my car and uh, everything for 500 less than 500,000 and I like to have that million left over I'm just saying what your plan soon Shaq Michael Jordan hey Michael Jordan what's up now, I don't have any of your sneakers but you know I'm standing strong with you my man hooks this girl up Somebody help me get me out of this mess. I'm not looking forward to going to the next location that these people are sending me to here in this housing program. I'm waiting on my miracle. Waiting on my miracle. Waiting on my miracle. Waiting on my miracle. That's a sad day in America. When you're struggling and you can't even get people. You can't get more than one person 
to, to pay 99 damn cents so that they can see all of your live streams. All you people are always talking about, we struggling too. You don't, be struggling. you don't seem to be struggling when it comes to a crackhead and sending them money. This time I ain't asking you for a cash app. I put it out there, please. Yeah. Sign up to become a member so you can have access to all of my live streams. At 99 cents, you can't do 99 cents? That's not very supportive. Yeah, I can say it. I ain't, I, if I'm thinking it, this is who I am. I think it, and so I speak it. That's how you know who I am. Because I don't feel any reason to keep my thoughts hidden from me. It's 99 cents. You pay $4.99 for other people's content, and they ain't doing nothing but drink a Hennessy. Drink a Hennessy and smoking weed and spitting stuff out the mouth. Pay $4.99 and $9.99 to see people eat at a muck bay. So, you know, uh, nothing, whatever is going on in my live streams is not going to be less exciting than what you're paying $4.99 and $9.99 to see with other content creators. One person steps up, puts the 99 cents down, and becomes a member. And becomes a member. And, and didn't even like the video. Didn't even thumbs up the video before she went back to the office. Just saying. I, I, I noticed it. You, was, you are the only <coughs> one who joined. But you did not thumbs up the video before you headed back to the office. You was in the live stream for about 12, 12 minutes. <laughs> and you just didn't thumbs up the video. Yeah, it's the same guy from yesterday. So I'm failing to see the support. Please stop praising the heck out of me and telling me my blessings are coming. If you can't thumbs up the video, <laughs> I'm talking to everybody, not just that one person. Maybe you were in a hurry to get back to work. I thank you for you know stopping in. But when I look back to see, I didn't even get one like, and only one person was in attendance. I kind of kind of felt bad. And uh, yeah, it was a testing video anyway. It was a testing video anyway. I wanted to see who would click the button, who would sign up to see what was going to be happening on my live streams. But I had said in a previous video that I'm not going to put a, a live out there until 10 people have joined. And uh, then I went ahead and did it anyway. So what I have done is the live streams I all, so I deleted the one that I did yesterday, but the live stream that I already had. I went ahead and moved them over to the members only. But really, I have just been waiting for 10 people to become a member before I started with the live streams. But you know, I'm going to do the live streams anyway. I'm going to do them anyway. Um, might be one coming up today. And my live streams are going to be the same that they have always been. Whatever I feel like going live with it ain't going to be anything special. It's just whatever I feel like going live with. And uh, you know how my live streams go. Sometimes I do reactions. Sometimes I cook. Sometimes I clean. Sometimes I just let you have a front row seat to all the activity out in the parking lot. Um, Sometimes it's a grocery haul live stream, so on and so forth. So uh, ain't nothing going to be different about the live streams. They may or may not be reactions, as I said, and they may not may or may not be shopping hauls. But that's the way it's going to go over here. So I don't know when the next one is coming. But you know, the thing about having nobody present at the live stream is, uh, in my opinion, this. It's like doing a pre-record like I'm doing now. You're just talking to the camera. 
and you know if somebody will come along and listen to what you had to say. So there is really no difference. Okay. Every time, oh, I'm over five miles, 5.61. Okay, let me, uh, let me go ahead and upload this. Thank you for tuning in for this video. In the future, all of these AM videos on, of me on my bike, they're going to uh, premiere at 9.15 opposed to 7.15 in the morning. My channel, I can change the time if I want to. I did not have to let anybody know, but I did. Um, thank you for joining me. Stay safe. Remember to give somebody hope today and every day. I'm looking out the window. Give somebody hope today and every day because it's an easy thing to do. I will see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream someplace in life. Peace.